What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Biddle's Brewing. Today, I have something pretty cool. Britt and I have been hearing a lot about pour-over coffee. I thought it might be fun to actually build my own pour-over coffee machine. Uh, so I have it here for you today, and I'll show you how you can make it and all the parts you need. So first, you just start out with a board, and uh, you're gonna wanna stain that board to make it look nice. This is red mahogany. It's my favorite stain. You can see these black pieces. Uh, they are spray on chalkboard. I did this so you can label the different drinks. Um, and then you're gonna wanna buy a base. This is called a flange or a flangey or something like that. Um, so that's, that is your first pieces. And then uh, you'll take your first pipe here, screw that in. And you can buy all these pieces at Home Depot or Lowe's uh, or your local hardware store. And then the next piece is the T. And the important thing about the T is I have a cork uh, shoved up in here so none of the coffee can run down into this lower pipe. It all goes into the next piece. Pretty cool thing about this is uh, it serves as a flight board. So if you wanna make a few different coffees for a group of people or your friends, uh, you'll be able to put it on this board and label them. Uh, the next piece is the spigot. Uh, they say the best water you'll drink is out of the garden spigot, so I figured maybe the best coffee will also be out of the garden spigot. And then lastly, for the piping, you want to put in this top piece. And then on top of that, you'll have your filter uh, with your coffee beans in it. So your coffee beans would go in there. And then uh, you'll want to go ahead and put a cup under your spigot. And then you would pour the boiling water over your coffee beans at whatever rate you want. And it's gonna come out the bottom. Uh, you can make a few different coffees and then go ahead and set them on the board and serve them to your guests or your friends or to yourself. And the coolest thing about this is you can actually just take it apart as quickly as you put it together and go ahead and clean it in the sink and clean out all the coffee. All right, that's it for today. Uh, check back in next week for another coffee review. And until then, happy brewing and build something cool.